when it comes to the root cause analysis, only some tools such as FiveWise and Fishbones seems to get much attention. But these root cause analysis tools are not sufficient for all kinds of problem. In this lecture, we will go through a much systematic and an important topic called AD problem solving. AD is a problem solving approach that is widely used in the root cause analysis. Having said that, there are many differences between the traditional tools of root cause analysis such as Fishbone and FiveWise and the AD approach of problem solving. AD is in fact much detailed and systematic approach that takes more time and resources and needs a teamwork for problem solving. This is a problem solving approach for more serious nature problems. We will study that in much detail later. It first started in the automobile industry, but now it's used in almost any sector such as healthcare, services, telecom, business, banking, finances, etc. in all three aspects for the service improvement, process improvement, and product improvement. The core uses of AD is it helps in identifying correcting and finally eliminating problems that may be of different business nature. Now if we move back to the origin, AD problem solving method originally evolved during Second World War. It became an official methodology in 1974 when it was used by the US government for its military operations as military standard 1520. AD was developed by Ford Motor Company. Ford had a problem solving method called team oriented problem solving method and based on this method they developed the AD method which became widely popular as the time passed. Now let us study the stages of AD. AD approach consists of 8 disciplines which is denoted as D. This can also be referred as stages. There are 8 stages or D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, and D8. Later, as people felt the need for planning before the implementation of the 8D problem solving approach, uh, they came with the DO or D0, also called the planning stage. In this chapter, I will give you a helicopter view of the 8D improvement process, and we will study this in much detail in the coming lectures. First of all, we should plan whether to go with the AD approach and if we go, we should make a roadmap of how we should go with this method. We will talk about this in detail in the plan section of the AD problem solving series. In D1, we use a team. We then select a team with the required knowledge and interest to work with the AD approach. In D2, we define and describe the problem. We should then define or specify the problem which we are looking for by identifying in quantifiable terms the who, what, where, when, why, how, or 5W1H approach for the problem defining. In D3, we develop the interim containment plan. This is much like the initial DO phase, except that in this phase, we define and implement the containment actions or other actions that helps to isolate the problem from any customers. If there is a problem that we are trying to improve, we should also have the necessary plan to ensure that the problem doesn't reach the customers. Problems could be life threatening or they may hamper the image of the product or the company. So particularly in this stage, we develop and implement the containment plans. In D4, we determine, identify and verify the root causes and the escape points. In this phase, we try to identify all applicable causes that could explain why the problem occurred in the first place. For this, we can use various tools such as FiveWise, Fishbones, Cause and Effect Matrix, etc. In D5, 
we develop and verify the permanent corrections. After the root cause analysis, we select those methods which could be most effective in solving the root problem causes. In D6, we implement the corrective actions, and in this stage, we implement the best corrective actions. In D7, we take preventive measures for the future reoccurrence. In this stage, we re modify the management systems, operation systems, practices, and procedures to prevent reoccurrence of these and all similar problems. In D8, we recognize the contribution and congratulate the team. This is a very important part of the AD approach and it shows that the AD is the employee friendly approach and it fosters a culture of recognizing the hard works of the employee in the organization. This was just an overview of the AD process. As I mentioned earlier, we will learn in depth about each of these steps in much detail in the coming lectures. Okay, let's run the quiz. This is quite an easy one. Mr. Sam says that he can use the fishbone diagram or 5Y instead of the 8D approach of problem solving for a huge problem in return of the product from the customers. Is he true? I'll give you some time to think. You can pause this video and think over this question. Okay, the answer is no, he is not true. Not for all the problems, the 5Ys and fishbones are enough. We learned that for serious nature problems such as frequent returns from the customers, AD is a more appropriate problem solving tool. Let's take the second example. Mr. Clinton says it's impossible to use the AD approach in his hospital setting. He knows that AD was implemented and developed by Ford Motor Company, so he believes that it is more suitable for the manufacturing related business. Is he true? No. Not this time too. AD is used in hospital settings worldwide for different managerial and technical problem solving and it is equally good for any kinds of business and service sectors. Thank you so much for coming this far. 